Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us tonight for So You Think You Know Stowe, or do you? Um, I am Kelly Lawler, and I am from the Stowe Cultural Council. Um, the Stowe Cultural Council awards grants to local individuals and organizations to support projects in the arts, humanities, and interpretive sciences. And it supports events that bring our community together, like this one this evening. Calls for proposals will be coming up this fall, so if anybody would like um, to send their application for a grant um, to the Stowe Cultural Council, you can see our website um, here on the screen. Um, it's at the stowe-ma.gov website, which has all of our town information, um, and then it's also you can also click on our Cultural Council page. The mission of the Stowe Cultural Council um, is to, could you go back, John, to the last slide? Just back one slide. Oh, perfect. Okay, the Stowe Cultural Council defines its mission as follows, to create a closer knit community in Stowe by sponsoring and supporting activities and events that bring the diverse elements of our community together for enjoyment and cultural enrichment. So this week is what we're calling Culture Fest. It's the first time that we've done this. Um, traditionally, we put on a, a huge art exhibit at the town um, hall, but this year um, that kind of got sidelined, so we decided to try something different. Um, all right, so um, we've had four fabulous days, um, and this is our third event. Tomorrow is our, is our last event. Um, so on Monday, we kicked this off at the library with something called Hidden Cultures um, with Briar, and we learned we had a land acknowledgement from a Métis resident of Stowe, and, um, and she also did a dance. And then um, we had a, a, an art and a reading activity um, with, with kids that came and watched at the library. Um, so we can, the library is interested in continuing to do a Hidden Cultures um, event throughout the fall um, and starting the school year. So if any other families are interested um, and want to share their cultural heritage, please contact um, the Stoke Cultural Council or the li Randall Library. All right, so our main work is to provide funds for projects that help to bring our community together. Um, and tonight we're going to work um, on this project to share stories about Stowe's history. So we um, have a set of questions um, and that Meredith is going to explain exactly how we're going to go about this evening. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Kelly. And I'm Meredith Wood, and I serve on the Cultural Council with Kelly and some fantastic other volunteers in the town of Stowe um, to do this really fantastic work. And we're thrilled to have you all here with us tonight. Um, so the, the rules are a little bit different if you played trivia before, because we do have folks joining us on Facebook and on YouTube and on Stowe TV. So we wanted to, to broaden the group. Um, so the way we're going to do it is Kelly and I are going to read the questions out loud. We'll read the full question and all of the possible answers. Some of the questions are multiple choice. Some of them are true or false. And after we read it, the question is going to stay on the screen for 20 seconds. So you still can see it and read it yourself. Um, and we want to know what you know yourself. So we're going on the honor system here. No Googling. Um, and after we've read each question, you're going to keep track of your own questions. You can write them down on some scratch paper, or you can start a separate email, but keep track of all 20 of your answers to these questions. Um, and then at the end of the, the trivia game, you can email them to Stowe, S-T-O-W, cultural, C-U-L-T-U-R-A-L, Council, C O U N C I L, at gmail.com. Um, and that'll be up on your screen in just a second. So you can see that yeah. too. Um, but you can go ahead and email. There you go. So it's up on the screen. Um, so that's perfect. Thanks, John. Um, so you'll email one email per entry with all 20 of your questions on it. And we'll be accepting emails until eight o'clock tonight. So, oh, excuse me. It says August 14th. That was my fault. I was thinking too far ahead. But eight o'clock tonight, Wednesday. 
July 14th. Um, and the scoring is pretty simple. Each correct answer is worth one point. The highest scoring response will win first points and then followed by second and third places. Um, and if we get a tied score, we're gonna see who got their email in first. Um, and we have some fantastic gift cards for our winners from some local businesses that we can coordinate with the winners because we'll have your emails. Um, so that's, that's the long and short of all of it. And we are excited to learn some fun facts about our town. Um, and we're super grateful for our Stowe TV for helping us get this out here tonight and to the Stowe Historical Society for all of their great stewardship of um, the fantastic resources and, and history of our town. So without further ado, I think we're ready to play some trivia. Yes. Um, can we just, John, do you mind if we just go back? I forgot to talk about the grantees that the oh. Stowe Cultural Council awarded this year. And so I didn't want to miss that. Perfect. So right here, this slide. I just wanted to remind everybody um, that we do announce um, in, the, in the spring whenever we award grants to different individuals and organizations. Um, it is posted on our website. And anytime we have an event, we do like to really talk up our wonderful grant awardees. Um, so the Randall Library, we, we awarded them money for the summer reading program. Um, the Girl Scout Troop for their outdoor mural on Hartley Road. So please keep an eye out for that mm -hmm. coming soon. The Sounds of Stowe um, for their concert series for the 2021-2022 year. Um, Howie Newman for Music for Seniors, Anna Celestra Carr from For All My Relations, that's an art exhibit that is actually happening in just a month, so there's still time to get your art submissions in um, and to have a shot at that competition, that contest. Uh, the Clear Path for Veterans of New England, Photography for Beginners, Virginia Thurston's Healing Garden, Nature and Art Therapy, Stowe Conversation Conservation Trust for Leggett Woodland Story Walk. That's something that I actually was just talking to um, our um, amazing youth library source services, Chris Morrison um, at Randall Library. I'm really excited to get my kids to see that story walk. I've never been to Leggett Woodlands before. Um, Donna Dodson, the Amazons Among Us. Some local people um, in Maynard may have may have seen her work before mm -hmm. and the Discovery Museum for their open door connections so the next slide I think we have is that everybody who we yeah, have everybody for for this year um, and then these are the three different events that we've had so far for the culture fest um, Monday we had hidden cultures Tuesday, we had the Art of Cooking. All of these events were recorded thanks to Stowe TV, so you can still check them out on YouTube or even Facebook. And um, so you think you know Stowe is going to be recorded tonight. So if anyone, um, the competition, you have to email by eight, but you can always watch this later if you wanna know more about your town. And the last event of our 2021 Cultural Fest, we're so excited to be able to see everybody in person tomorrow night. Um, we've got some live music and dance performances at Pine Bluffs. It's family friendly live performances. Um, we'll be there from five to 7.30 um, and really, really looking forward to that. We'll do another plug for that at the end of this as well because we can't wait to see everybody. Anything we forgot, Kelly, or you think we're good? I think Thank you to good. all of our partners for making Not Cultural Fest a, a success could not do this without all of our fantastic partners in town. So thank you all. Thank you. All right. So hopefully you all have your, your pens and paper handy and are ready to send these emails and keep track of your answers and learn some fun facts about Stowe. So we can move on to question one. Thanks so much, John. Perfect. Question one, the Randall Library, named for John Whit Randall, celebrated its centennial or 100 year anniversary in what year? A, 1984, B, 1994, C, 2004, or D, 2014? 20 seconds on the clock.
good questions here. And um, question number two for this evening, we're not going too fast for you. The Stowe West Schoolhouse taught students in one room beginning in 1825. Does anyone know when it closed? A, 1826, B, 1893, C, 1903, or D, 1925? 20 minutes, seconds. Man, one room, Kelly. I bet there are a lot of parents who can probably uh, appreciate the challenges of teaching multiple students in multiple grades in one room after this year. <laughs> Quite a lot to handle. <laughs> Thank you to all the parents out there for all the work that you're doing to keep everybody afloat. All right, question three. The Stowe Historical Society, our partners this evening, was founded by what lifelong Stowe resident? Was it A, Howard Gleason, B, Franny Warren, C, Ellie Childs, or D, Ralph Kroll? 20 seconds. Excellent. And so that last question, you know, Meredith and I have only lived in Stowe for two to seven mm -hmm. years between us, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we do not have all this information, but we're definitely just soaking it up right now. Mm -hmm. um, some people may know this, this answer. What year was Stowe officially incorporated? Was it A, 1673, B, 1683, C, 1693, or D, 1703. Mm -hmm. Think about it. All right, I know it's still the, the heart of summer, but this question has us thinking fall. What fall staple was developed right here in Stowe by Charles Leggett in 1944? Was it A, the Macown apple, B, the sugar pumpkin, C, the butternut squash, or D, the acorn squash? They all sound pretty good right now, but 20 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we are having this like cool down. So I know some of us are ready for the beach again before we get into that, that fall weather. All right, question number six, true or false, Stowe sent Minutemen to Lexington and Concord in 1775, A or B, true or false? All right, this next one's kind of neat. I think as we all know, um, towns used to, to change borders and boundaries a lot as things were sort of settling to where they are present day. Um, but what present day town did Stowe not cede land to between 1773 and 1871? Was it A, Maynard, B, Hudson, C, Shirley, or D, Acton? What do you think? Let us know, 20 seconds.
I was recently reading up on all of the land that Stowe mm -hmm. originally owned. So it is really interesting yeah. how many different local towns got our some of our track of land. Yeah, all right. Absolutely. Question eight. What was Stowe known as to European settlers prior to its official incorporation? A. Pompositicate Plantation. B. Pompositicate Forest. C. Stowe Forest. Or D. Randall's Mill. What do you think? This question I love because it's so fun to sit and eat breakfast and drink my coffee and watch the airplanes. But before the airplanes moved into what is now the airfield in town in 1963, what were the only things that used to fly from Erickson's fields? Was it A, their chickens, B, hot air balloons, C, messenger pigeons, or D, weather balloons? 20 seconds. Now that's an answer I would really like to know. Um, and we will be sharing those answers after we're done here tonight. Um, and just a quick reminder to everybody, sorry, Kelly, I'm gonna jump in, yeah. um, to officially submit your answers for contention in the prizes, don't forget to email stowculturalcouncil at gmail.com at the end of all of this. We see some answers in the comments and that's great. Definitely chat with everyone and, and interact, but the official entries are, are gonna be submitted via that email. Um, and I believe that email is also mentioned in the comments as well. So thanks, just housekeeping details yeah. <laughs> at, at the halfway point. <laughs> PM deadline for that. 8 PM deadline. We're, are we strict? We're pretty strict. We're pretty strict. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question number 10. True or false? The Randall House, home to John Witt Randall, is now the clubhouse at Stowe Acres. A or B, true or false? So obviously John Randall was such an important part of, of town history and um, name of the Randall Library, among many other things. But he had a pretty famous great grandfather too. Do you know who it was? Was it A, John Adams, B, John Quincy Adams, C, Samuel Adams, or D, Benjamin Franklin? 20 seconds. All right, and question number 12, um, and this kind of has a two part, you know, there's there's a, an important vocabulary word in here that, that you'll have to understand the background of, um, but what is the regicide's grave in the lower village cemetery? A, the burial ground of King Charles I, B, where one legend states that William Goff, one of the singers of the warrant that led to the beheading of King Charles I, is believed to be buried. C, an empty tomb to discourage loyalty to the crown. Or D, the burial ground of Oliver Cromwell. What is it?
All right, this one's pretty neat too, because I know there's some, some really fantastic old houses and old buildings in town and the Historical Society has on a couple occasions done um, tours of some of these houses too, bus tours. So keep an eye open for those. But what is the oldest house in Stowe? Is it A, the Boaz Brown House, B, the Randall Hale House, C, Captain Whitman's House, or D, Minister's Manse? 20 seconds. I hope everyone at home is, is liking these questions. I, I do see a lot of traction on our on our Facebook page. Um, question number fourteen. Um, I think I think people will know this answer. I think this one's going to be an easier one. Um, question fourteen: The land that is now Stowe was first inhabited by what Native Americans? A. The Wampanoags. B. Mohican. C. Nipmucks. Or D. Penacooks. Twenty seconds. All right, question 15, and this one, um, we've had so much rain this July that I know sometimes it can feel like we've we've had lots of major storms, but there was a super major hurricane that hit Stowe, and what year did that happen? Was it A, 1918, B, 1928, C, 1938, or D, 1948? What do you think? 20 seconds. All right, so we're up to question 16. This is a long one here, um, so bear with us, but I do just want to put a plug in for the Historical Society. We use them as our resource, um, and they actually have a few publications that you might want to check out if you would like to, to learn more um, than just what we're offering in this trivia here tonight. Um, so definitely check them out online. So 16, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts separated church and state by law in 1834. What prompted Stowe to formally separate its primary church and town hall in 1847? A, was it a mandate from the governor? B, protest from the townspeople? C, the town's fourth meeting house being burned down? Or D, a change in architectural trends at the time? All right, Kelly, we gave you all the long questions. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're just so good at it. <laughs> all right, question 17, just a few more to go. Um, and this one's a, an easy one for all the parents and kids in town. But what year do school children in Stowe learn all about town history? Is it A, second grade, B, third grade, C, fourth grade, or D, fifth grade? 20 seconds. Nice. And I hope a, a lot of our young listeners enjoyed that question. Hopefully they could help their parents out with that one. Mm -hmm. All right. So question 18 is for whom is Lake Boone named? Is it A, after Daniel Boone, B, after Patrick Boone, C, 
Charles Boone or D. Matthew Boone? What do you think? All right, another Lake Boone question. Um, we all know Lake Boone has lots of lots of different parts and lots of fun things to do on it, especially in the summer. But how deep is it? At its deepest point, how deep is Lake Boone? Is it A, 23 feet deep, B, 43 feet, C, 103 feet, or D, 123 feet? What do you think? 20 seconds. All right, and we're to our last question. Thanks everyone for hanging in there and holding on um, and listening to all these questions and writing down what answers you thought um, were best. This is my favorite question um, about women. So the 19th amendment was passed in 1920, giving women the right to vote. 171 Stowe women registered between August 14th and October 23rd of that year. This represented what percentage of eligible women voters in town? This is a tough one. A, was it 22%, B, 42%, C, 62%, or D, 82%? What do you think? We made it through. So now we need you to email us your answers so we can review the scorecards and, and award some prizes to some fantastic local businesses. So don't forget to email us. You've got 32 minutes to email your answers to Stowe Cultural Council at gmail.com. That answer or that email address is up on the screen and Forgive me again. Clearly, I just had August on the brain when I was putting this together. I apologize. But email your answers to stowculturalcouncil at gmail.com by 8 o'clock tonight, Wednesday, July 14th, um, so you can get entered to win some of our fantastic prizes. Um, and as Kelly mentioned, we've got some fantastic grantees this year who have a lot of programming going on, and there will be a call for proposals for new projects um, coming up later this year. So if you want more information about how to get involved or about any of the work that we do, you can email that same email, stowculturalcouncil at gmail.com, or you can visit us on the stow-ma.gov website where it talks more about what we do um, and, and the grants that we have awarded. Um, and John, if you don't mind going to the next slide as well, and to learn more about the Histor Stowe Historical Society, I'm sure these questions just made you super curious for all the, the details about town, um, but you can learn more, you can volunteer with the Historical Society, or you can sign up for their newsletter. Um, you can email either info at stowhistoricalsociety.org or visit their website at stowhistoricalsociety.org stowhistoricalsociety.org. Say that five times fast. Excuse me. <laughs> and those the, newsletters are fascinating. Mm, so definitely sign up for that newsletter. Super interesting. And there are some great ones, especially, I mean, I'm, I've am got fall on the brain clearly tonight, but there are some great ones around all of the cemeteries in town. Um, fun stories for Halloween, if anybody else like me is thinking fall. Um, but thank you again to the Historical Society for their help. And we hope to see you all tomorrow evening for our free concert at Pine Bluff starting at five. 
family it's a family friendly event um we will have a table set up with crafts mm -hmm. for kids um some things that we've done this week at the library we'll bring that to that table over um to Black pine bluffs and it's just going to be a fun night mm -hmm. the one thing to remember is that pine bluffs we want to keep our town beautiful mm -hmm. and it's a strict carry in carry out policy um so please just remember um whatever you bring in please leave with as as you as you head home Take right. only pictures, leave only footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> this has been right. awesome, Kelly. Thanks so much for hanging out and playing some trivia with us. And, and we can't is. wait to see everyone's answers. All right. Bye.